So is that something that really doesn't have an, uh, an impact? That um, because the players are uh, because when you buy a set of bowls, right, that's your set forever. Yep. And and you get to know that set and the way it behaves. It's very difficult, you know, sort of to jump in and grab a set of. If you were to go like curling, for instance, you use yep. the rocks at each club. Here, uh, it'd be since the bowls are small, everyone sort of everyone has their own set. They're so used to their own yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. And some some international players will get a set specifically customized for, for them. For them. Yep. Yeah. So uh, in bowls. Uh, in bulls, it's a bit different like that, but uh, it's a good point you make. You yeah. know, um, you know, if they did bring that in or something, and yeah, yeah. But there's so many, so many style of bulls out there mm -hmm. that everyone's using that it's a bit difficult to sort of control yeah. that at a level. But that's a that's a great point. But I, I think on certainly from a from a, from a, a, a live televised point of view, it's never difficult. But I, g I guess if you're in a an audience at the actual venue, sometimes it can be quite difficult. It for is. It is. Yeah. For the for the viewer to see. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know. Um, for uh, uh, I know for Team Canada. I know uh, when I p participated in World Bowls last year, sometimes um, the bowls manufacturers will 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 create. You'll you'll you w we were able to email them ahead of time to say what uh, type of bowl we wanted, mm -hmm. and they would give us the color red. So right. Canada had the red bowls. So it's done by nationality. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. So that uh, that was great over overseas, but not every. You don't have. It's not. Uh, you don't have to use a, a red bowl. Yeah. yeah, not compulsory too. So it was. Um, yeah, be it makes it uh, when you got the if you had like New Brunswick with a different color bowl and BC with a color bowl, be definitely easier for the spectators to sort of definitely. See, but it's been a it's been sort of one of those parts of the game that's sort of been. In the way it, it it used to be um all when I first started all black all black all right. black or there there was the odd brown here and there mm -hmm. but it was all black and then uh, slowly it's they slowly brought evolved, some colors yeah. in yeah yeah I guess it's the same with the uniform as well you know obviously traditionally very much white and now mm -hmm. obviously it's great to see lots of different colors out there yep absolutely. Yep, so BC here holding uh, two two this end by the looks of it. New Brunswick. Uh, that's why um, the stickers are good, but uh, the those ones are quite a little bit more difficult to tell the color between them. So yeah. <laughs> that's um, uh, normally the players will uh, from different provinces or different countries will have the the same co they'll have the same color stickers. Yeah. So that's the one thing that uh, helps differentiate. That's my my dad, the skip, for Team BC oh, on the triples there. Yeah, right. yeah. So lots of encouragement for him out throughout the week, I imagine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good little pep talks and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They uh, started off uh, two and two, and then from there they went undefeated. So got them in this uh, gold medal match, which was fantastic. Very good. Yeah. So how y how young were you when uh, when no doubt your uh, your father got you into bowls? I was uh, thirteen. Wow, fantastic! Yeah, thirteen, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and stayed just stayed with it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I I stayed with it because um, they wouldn't. Uh, ooh, great bowl there by Jeff. You know, I stayed with it because it was great support. You know, from from the bowling club and the commu and the bowling community to as a young. As a young kid, just first entering the sport, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah. Our our coach took us into a few different tournaments, and there was a few of us young guys that sort of started at the same time, and we remained friends. Like, uh, you know, I've known Jeff Pershik for about 20 years now. Wow, yeah, yeah, so a long, long time. And then a few few of the boys that aren't aren't here from from Victoria. We grew up in Victoria together, and okay. we played. So that's sort of how we sort of just uh, stayed with it. Yeah, it's great. It's but. I think sport's a great vehicle for meeting lots of new friends throughout life, regardless of what the sport is. And that's a, Absolutely. That's a, that's a great thing, for sure. Yeah. You know, there's something out there for everybody. That's you know, right. Keep them active, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many sports are you guys involved in? Believe it or not, we actually, uh, I think to date, we cater for over 75 different sports. Nice. So, uh, yeah, lots. It certainly keeps us busy, that's for sure. Yep. So, uh, we have to wear lots of different hats, but it's, uh, from, from my point of view, it's great to, you know, get to know lots of different sports that perhaps you'd never come across in your life unless you were working in the industry. So it's uh, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure, really. Awesome. Yeah. 
as I said, I, uh, I certainly hadn't envisaged playing lawn bowls, and uh, I certainly uh, will be making sure that I, I get out on the green sometime soon just to, to give it a go. So yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Where, where did, uh, we'll, we'll try to get Vince back here in a second, but uh, no where, did, uh, where did your symbol uh, come from? Yeah, I was just actually talking to, to Vince about that. Yeah. Um, so, the, yeah, the, there's, uh, there's two parts to it. The, the word cookery is actually uh, there was a Gurkha regiment um, that actually fought in the Vietn Vietnamese War, and their, their whole uh, sort of motto was, uh, was teamwork. Mm. And that sort of signified what, what our brand is all about and the fact that we obviously work generally with, with team sports. Um, and then the small, the small symbol you see above the text, the Chang, um, in, in Chinese, that actually means sort of long life. And is also interpreted as uh, um, the path from sort of boy to man, which again is very synonymous with, with sports and obviously growing older with the sport and, and learning and developing. So, yeah, so it all, felt, it, it all sort of uh, blended in really well. And uh, you know, it's quite a, a sort of um, uh, certainly a, a logo that gets lots of uh, comments and feedback in terms of how noticeable it is and how it sticks with people. So that's yeah. worked, worked really well for us. So. Yeah, it's quite original. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Oh, my dad looking here to nudge one out. Ooh. Ooh. Just missed. Yep. One more for New Brunswick. So New Brunswick here taking an early lead, 8-3 to three after 7 ends. So B Team BC here looking to uh, score a couple of ends here halfway through the game. So the next few ends will be very important here, see if uh, BC can get some get momentum going. Game. Yeah. That's certainly one of the things I noticed from being here this week is how quickly uh, the tide can change. and. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And teams obviously that look like they're, you know, significantly behind. It only takes a few ends, and you can be right back in it. Yep. If you if you have a, a few uh, few ends where you've got three or four. Yeah, it's absolutely. A you know, uh, yep, you got uh, nine bowls at the moment each team member. So 18 bowls out there. So lots uh, lots of things can happen. Lots of fluctuation. Yeah. Er earlier this morning we saw, um, between the ladies pairs that was televised uh, this morning, between uh, Ontario, and Alberta. Um, Ontario took an early lead, and then Alberta picked up a five ender to pick get a, to get him back within one. Wow! And then sort of momentum sort just of continued, kind of yeah. carried on from there. It was tight the whole game, came down to an umpire measure, but oh but, wow. but early on, sort of those those big changes make a big difference at the end of a game. No, definitely. That's yeah. that's the thing. I guess the obviously the the scores can be quite high, but at the same time, every every ball that you throw, you know, make can make a big uh, big difference in the end of the day. So yep, absolutely. So Mel with a great start there. Oh, uh, great ball by Alden. Yeah, and bowls, it's always important to be behind that jack, you know, whenever you can, because that jack's only, most of the time, only going one way. Yeah, and absolutely. And that's backwards. Mel looking to follow it up. If he gets the other side of it. Ooh, unlucky. Just hit it over to the New Brunswick pair there. So New Brunswick looking to capitalize on this. Very well played. Oh, great balls. Wow. Great balls. <coughs> great setup there for uh, New Brunswick. Michael's trying to get another get a ball in there for BC if he can. Just missing the head, but uh, right idea. Just playing that overweight shot, trying to move the balls or use something to get another ball in there. New Brunswick well in control this end at the moment, so lots of balls to come. See what Malcolm can do here. Malcolm Taylor looking to put a ball in the head there or get second shot. And I guess towards the um, 
towards the end of the actual end, I, I, I guess it comes to a, a point where you've got to decide whether you think you can get in within a, a certain distance to to stop the sort of number of bowls that you're going to lose by, or whether you take a gamble and try and disperse. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. So depending sort of how a head's built, you know, if it's a nice sort of big target, you'll see the the skips play a little more aggressive. Sure. Okay. Do you guys want to chit chat, you and Anna? So we'll get the. Thanks, Jamie. Cool. Hello, hello. We hello. got the Annabees. Did I say that correctly? You did. Awesome. From uh, Wolves Canada, our new executive director. Yeah, so how are things going? How have you been enjoying this? Uh, your first Canadian championships, I take it? It's my first majors. My yep. first Canadian championships was Major. actually the juniors in Fredericton. Oh, yes, that's correct. Yeah, how was that event? That was fabulous. Really oh. very exciting and mm -hmm. great introduction to the sport. Awesome. Yeah, you get to see a bit of the youth throughout the country that uh, play. Yeah, I saw the youth, saw some great shots, some great strategy making, and really got to got a glimpse of the future. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what's sort of your... your uh, how has uh, everything been sort of for you here at uh, this Canadian, uh, uh, the adult championships? It's been fabulous. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fabulous. I mean, it's been a great, great production. You can't, you couldn't have asked for better weather, better organization, better play, better teams. I mean, it's really, I think fabulous is the only word for it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, so I guess you've been learning a lot about the game over the last few months. I have. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I've really only been on the job for 10 weeks, but... Had some great tutors along the way and mm -hmm. have learned lots, still lots more to learn, but it's been really exciting. And one thing I have learned is a huge appreciation for the skill and the strategy that's going on out there on the green today. Awesome. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, a lot of these guys have played a long time. You know, they put in a lot of time to the game, practicing and playing in tournaments, and that's what kind of gets you out here to uh, Saturday on the in the gold medal round. So absolutely. It's been so exciting. Yeah, yeah. No, it's awesome. So have you had, had, had have you had a chance to roll a few? I have. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody asked me that question. Yeah, and absolutely. And yes, I have rolled a couple of bowls. Cool. Cool. And how's your delivery? <laughs> Let's just say I won't be here anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe a couple of years we'll get you on there on a uh, on a team and away you go. Yeah. Well, well, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. I mean, oh, the one thing I have found that as long as I'm I'm working in in this position as executive director, I really want to make sure that I'm in a position where I can do the best for all the provinces. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think while I'm I'm doing this, I'll have to withhold for a little bit and yes. yeah. cheer okay. uh, cheer everybody on and and see what i can do for everyone yep awesome awesome so what have uh, wha do you have any um any sort of plans you want to mention or anything like that in the next coming years or that sort of all just sort of keep it behind just sort of happening right now we're getting in place for you especially just uh coming on to the organization well i i think that I think that this community, this sport, is, is at a crossroads. Mm -hmm. I think that we're poised to do something really great. And the way that sport is set up right now in Canada, that um, we've, we've got a, a pretty big challenge ahead of us. Um, mm -hmm. it's, really, it's, it's really becoming something of uh, being very much set up for the haves, not the have-nots, and very focused on Olympic sports, on sports that seem to be uh, getting a lot of TV time. Yes. Uh, but you know what? I look around this sport, and it has everything. Mm -hmm. It has everything. It's awesome. accessible. It's family-oriented. It's fun. It is great. It's great viewing. People just don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. And this this week with uh, Sports Canada TV jumping on board with us to stream the games has been fantastic. Yeah, and absolutely. It's been a long time that we get this kind of exposure out there for everyone to watch it. Yeah, really exciting. So I think we're poised for some really great things. I think it's going to be an opportunity to get the membership together and focus on focus on a few key things that we really need to move the sport ahead. Mm -hmm. Everybody get behind it. Let's concentrate on those things and get going. Yep, absolutely. So that's awesome. Yep. That's going to be great. Yeah, like it was mentioned last night, get the provinces working together, the, all the organizations working together, and then uh, we'll be ready to take leaps and bounds forward. That's it. Yeah. And that's the one thing I've really experienced this this week is that there are so many people with so many great skills 
and such vision and such passion i mean how how can we go wrong really mm -hmm. yeah no absolutely yeah so uh we're having a bc's having a bit of a tight game here after seven ends against new brunswick um new brunswick just outperforming at the moment bubbling okay cool yes you got or bob scott <laughs> yeah, I've been really impressed with this New Brunswick team this week. Boy, they've really been consistent. Yes. Yeah, no, they've been playing very well. Yeah, lots of great shots and uh, just just really when they're under the pressure, under the gun, they're still around yeah, well calling what they want and to making it happen. Yeah, to only lose one in that round in the round robin is amazing what you they managed just to do. So you know, came out on top of uh, the pool, so let's see if they can finish her off here. Yeah, yeah, pretty exciting. Well, mm -hmm. great competition all around. I think uh, when we're seeing Clay that this is, is this good, really, everybody's a winner. Yep, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, we'll get that. All right, well, you, it was Anna. a pleasure speaking with you, Stevie. Pleasure. All right. Okay, take okay. care. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Welcome, Bob. Vince yeah. and I. Yeah, you are the uh, bronze medal winner. Bronze medal winner. Uh, two on 13. <laughs> How many medals you got now? This is, what is it, number number 49? Uh, Keith and I are racing for the most. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. So, Bob, how did you like it so far? How do you excellent. like this Canadian championship? Uh, an excellent national championship. So there's been new, some new and ideas uh, this venue today is wonderful this is the best uh, venue we've had for uh -huh. any nationals i've ever been at yeah i think yeah. tim mason did a good job yeah you know wonderful and then the uh, there is no doubt about the uh, volunteers and did a fantastic job food is good and everything uh, what do you think well you know vince w whenever i come to any event i don't care if it's a, a small club when i mm -hmm. practice at home mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, especially here 250 volunteers I heard last night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I always appreciate mm -hmm. what people do for me, spending mm -hmm. many hours, and then I come and just play. Right. So I'm the lucky guy. They work hard, get no recognition. Yes, and here, absolutely. Here I get to sit and talk with you. And uh -huh. And Bob, you've been to many, many Canadian championships. Would you say uh, since the last five, six years, this is probably the biggest club you've seen? The biggest? Like lots of people here like yeah this is this is a good crowd although we've always had uh, <coughs> the players are that are have been eliminated they uh, show up but we probably have more spectators uh, just non competitive or even yes spectators. yes yes yeah yeah yes that's uh, what i mean like, come, you yeah. know lots of uh, local local players local people that uh, who play balls at the club level come out to support and that's always so important because once they see this, they see they can aspire for the same things. Maybe not the same level, but they see mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Or yeah. they appreciate the skill of these players. Uh huh. So, uh, is this the first time in BC? You're more than that. No, Vancouver? no. I've been I've been at uh, Juan de Fuca and uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, <coughs> I was in Juan de Fuca. I've been both as administrator and as a player. I've been mm -hmm. at seven Canadians as a player, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I've been in every other province. As an administrator, if I missed it, as a player. Yeah, Steve and I we were saying that whenever, you know, the fathers we gone as, like, uh, in my bowling career, the fathers one is uh, Montreal. I'm always trying to make it in Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, every time they play, we do the play downs here, so every time that the uh, event is in Nova Scotia, I always come second. George can probably bang me up there. George was the uh, boxer. I was saying that, man, so you're going to go North Nova Scotia. Are you trying to get under a good team? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, guess what happened? We got into three three silver medalists for BC. Didn't even make it to Nova Scotia. It was pretty sad, man. Well, I can tell you, you're really missing something because mm -hmm. uh, people in Nova Scotia are extremely uh, hospitable and friendly and mm -hmm. just like they are here. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing about the game of bowls, Vince, is that uh, you meet wonderful people. So every year it's yes. a reunion when you come to the Nationals. Uh, yes, yes. I yes. just commenting to one of my Ontario colleagues that uh -huh. I think I know more people here at the Nationals yes, yes. than I do at the Provincials in Ontario. <laughs> yeah, <often. laughs> right, right, right. You've seen lots of old people, you know, older, I shouldn't say old people, <laughs> but the older friends, you know what I'm saying? You know, all your friends that you played before, 
uh, right now is uh, how should I use the word uh, uh, more uh, properly says in the golden age yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's, that's a good way and then uh, they're, they're, uh, it's not that they cannot play anymore but they're not as much uh, competitive as they were before and you look at them and I met many many of them I've seen Grand Jarvis it hasn't changed it's the nope. same 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 old same old same old same old you know it's good and I met uh, a couple of ladies uh, geez, I haven't seen for oh, about 30 years you know what I'm saying and then she talks to me, I says, are you Vince? And then I look at her and I says, ah, just correct me, my memory is worse than you. <laughs> 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 I couldn't even remember who they are, you know what I'm saying? Well, just like, a, uh, as you know, long bowling is like a big family. Yeah. You know, once we make a friend, it's friends for life. Yes, it is. It's interesting yeah. that they often say, well, after you can't play in the majors, you can go and play in the seniors. Uh -huh. You know what happens? Yeah. I see the same guys playing in the seniors are playing in the majors. <laughs> I'm just looking at the monitor, and uh -huh. I see Pat Beggs and yeah. Jeff out there and Eldon. Yes, yeah, those yes. are the same guys we played in the seniors. Yes. And, and they beat us there, too. So. <laughs> and uh, it's the same thing. And then, uh, you know, Pat, I look at Pat the other day. I says, Pat, how long do I know you? Pat was just shaking his head. There's too many people around here. I don't want to tell how long I know you. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're ta you're talking about it, this venue and uh, mm -hmm. the way it's been put on this year. Yeah, the set up, how the way the set up. I can tell you that they're watching the live screen streaming in mm -hmm. Nova Scotia. Oh, um, good, 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 good. National team getting ready for the test match against Scotland and uh -huh. the other seven countries. Uh -huh. uh, they're sitting watching this, keeping up in Dayton. And Don Caswell, the manager, tells uh -huh. me that that uh, they're all cheering for the provinces, of course, and yeah. watching it very closely. Uh -huh. Bob, you are one of the high-performance uh, members of the high-performance team. Have you seen any uh, outstanding talent? Yeah, I, I've seen some talent here. I see uh -huh. the young guys, like uh, looking over there at uh, Cameron uh -huh. uh, France uh -huh. uh, and uh, some other players that are showing mm -hmm. some skill. That uh, mm -hmm. so we're always we're on the scouting. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, always yes. scouting. Talk about before. Yes, we have. Uh, uh -huh. and I know you have been too. Yeah, we're right. looking to see if some new people that are interested are interested in committing to becoming better players yes yes and training for it yes mm. and then uh, i saw cameron i played against cameron uh two years ago and then i seen it uh, it's improved quite a bit you know what i'm saying a big uh -huh. big improvement is uh, uh come down come down quite a bit you know what i'm saying his, his delivery is very good and his movement is very good plus several many minis you know what i'm saying in the uh, uh how should I say, in a very young age, you know what I'm saying, the Saskatchewan used to produce uh, lots of, you know, younger players for the next generation of champions. Mm -hmm. Right. Cameron uh, is vicing the team today, mm -hmm. uh, the Nova Scotia team, a veteran team, and I was a little surprised, but I saw the big weight he just threw, and <laughs> I can see, uh, <laughs> see why they have him back in there. Yeah, that's right, right. And You're right. Both form though that uh, that becomes very obvious. If you see people that are with using good form, uh, you know that they can adjust to the pace of the yes, green. Yes, and, yes, yes. And the pace is uh, for us uh, back in Ontario. We were talking about that Ontario guys that we really don't have many greens with uh, quick pace. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we come out and run into some uh, nicely monitor or my, uh, manicured greens rather, mm -hmm. uh, we have to adjust to the pace too. So. Mm -hmm. Nice we're here for a week. Yeah, I, I, I played in Ontario, but, you know, it's not all Ontario greens are bad. I think it's oh. kind of illegal to say they're, it's kind of unfair to say they're bad. I played in some greens, which just beautiful. Yeah, oh, no, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying yeah. that, the, that the high pace, uh, we don't have those greens. Oh, no, we have some mm -hmm. very nice clubs in Ontario. Yeah, very nice clubs in Ontario. They, they won't let me back in if I <laughs> crack that. So. <laughs> they, they, they'll be waiting for it at the airport. <laughs> what did you say, Bob? <laughs> I yeah. just keep on going. Yeah, the level of competition uh, is quite high this year. It seems to be uh, not bad at all. And uh, we've got lots of old faces, new faces, young faces. Y y you know what I'm saying? I think it make it uh, very interesting. Yes, it does. You know, when we you, you were looking at the round robin play, and then uh, lots of this team just about towards the uh, end of, you know, with two or three games left, they still have a very good chance to play in the medal round. Well, we got into the medal round based on uh, point differential. We, we are the tiebreaker. We had to, uh, mm -hmm. we ended up with 10 points with Saskatchewan and mm -hmm. uh, because we beat them in the round robin that got them, got yeah. us into the medal round. So. Yeah, but Bob, you have a stacked team though. We do? Yeah. 
Well, I've, yeah. I've, I've always found myself to be pretty wise in bowling because I pick good guys. That's how, <laughs> that's how I get to, to this level. So. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen, I haven't seen, last time I seen Wendt is about two years ago. He's still going strong. Yes, he is. Yeah. Well, you saw the last game uh, against uh, the veteran Lyle Adams from Alberta. Well, yeah, oh, just Wayne made uh, yeah, that oh, sensational yeah, drive. Yeah, I know. And then they we're just saying that, oh, Jesus, what happened to that guy? <laughs> it's yeah. just like, uh, I guess the way I look at it is just, you guys just like wine. That's true. And we send Jim Roth to uh, Arizona every year for six months just to <laughs> hone his game. <laughs> just so to, he can just come to get back. back uh, he's probably the... Uh, uh, Youngest uh, player in your team, like means like in bowling years, you know what I'm saying? Well, probably both. I'm not sure about that. You know, he's he, he only played it for eight, nine years. Or not too, not too long. Not know? too long, and then, uh, you know, I know with your leadership and uh, Wayne's leadership, of course you're going to, uh, you know, coaching. Of course he's going to turn into a good player. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. That's very good. And then uh, one of the key thing is it's a little bit cloud, you know, cloud is coming in a little bit, but uh, I hope we can uh, hold for another couple of hours. It'd be real good. We uh, in BC uh, this time of the year usually we don't have this kind of a good weather. Eh? It's usually a good day, t one day, bad day, you know, one day. But this year is very fortunate, and then we have all those nice weather. I don't know what you did this year, but you sure ordered yeah. it upright. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely been fabulous. Yeah, good. And everything good. Uh, have you heard uh, Don, uh, uh, Don uh, in uh, Scotland? Did they start a play yet, or uh, they are still? They're working out. They're training actually this week. Uh, they uh -huh. the wonderful host there. They're playing at uh, George Whitelaw's uh, home club. They've uh -huh, been there uh -huh. playing some uh, exhibitions and uh -huh. uh, doing some skill training. Uh -huh. They're moving on to the Calvin Grove, the uh, Commonwealth Greens. They're going to play there. They get a slot for. I don't know if it's two days, three slots, or something mm -hmm. of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been invited to play at another club against the home club. They always like to, the home teams always like to get yeah, at right, you. Yeah, right, right, they right. They can't lose. If yeah, they, right, if they right, lose, right, well, right. you should lose. If yeah, they win, yeah. well, they're better. <laughs> they should be going to the com <laughs> right, or the right, test right, match. Right, 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 right. So uh, they, they are, they're very active, and they're uh, really enjoying the excellent, hospitality excellent, of the Scottish people. Yeah. Davy, Davy's there too with him, and he's yeah, yeah. a Scotsman. He knows where he went. Yeah. Have you been to Scotland? Uh, I not have not have been there. Yeah. No. Same here. We should have gone ourselves. We should have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just be. Uh, uh, I'll be the water boy, and then you'd be the team doctor. Team vote. You and I will just the vote. You and I will <laughs> vote. That's all. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, all the best to you. Thank and, you very uh, much, Vince. I, I have a safe trip home. Thank Are you, you. going to uh, We're stay? flying out tonight. We're oh, uh, tonight. Catch, oh, yeah, we're stay on one the, more day. We're on the red eye. We're heading home. Got things to do, and uh, we'll be in the. We'll be home to Sunday morning. Yes, we'll very in. good, very good, very good. All the all the best to you, and have a safe, 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 safe journey home. Thank you, Vince. Okay, thank you. Okay, back to the uh, game, and there we on the nine ends. Is uh, as we were saying the. Uh, the triples played on the 15 ends, and then uh, New Brunswick seems to be having the upper hands. They are up 10, and BC3, they're playing the 10th end, and uh, BC is holding the shots. And then this New, uh, this New Brunswick team is a very experienced team. They bowl uh, well together, and then they've been on a, y you know what I'm saying, as a team, they've been playing uh, many, many years. The communication is outstanding. Yeah, here comes Steve, he's back. Hello, everybody. We're just. Uh mm -hmm. Well, how are our BC boys doing here? Uh, not bad, not bad. And then uh, New Brunswick is getting lots of breaks here and there, and then. Mm -hmm. Well, I shouldn't say use the word getting the breaks. You know, they they throw pretty good balls. Playing the position well, yes. is good. You know what I'm saying? They're playing well. You know, Steve, <laughs> as you know, you gotta be good to be. You got yes, yeah. You make it this far. You know, you gotta be hot to get that gold medal. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get <laughs> you gotta be good to get lucky, maybe. <laughs> yes, that's uh, good to yes, good to get lucky. Yes, as right? well. You know, the breaks always fall your way when you're up. Yes, when yeah. you're up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say to uh, lots of people. Says this is kind of a haunted game. You know what I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all boiled down to the game of mistake. Yep. How much mistake you made, and uh, 
more likely a ball with the Scottish guy. He's not longer with us, uh, Robert Scalia. Robert, uh, yes, that's right. You know, he says the fate is in your hand. It's not on the other teams. No, that's right. You control your own fate yeah. here. Yeah. Don't so. stand there and hope the other guys, you know, miss it or you know, show some emotion, putting no, hands out. Ah, go, 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 go. <laughs> no, they're gonna make the shot. So yes. just to update everyone out there. It's mm -hmm. 13 to 10, Ontario versus BC in the men's pairs there. Uh huh. And then 11-7, Nova Scotia, I think now. Uh -huh. Over in, uh, yeah. in the men's force. Mm -hmm. So the Nova Scotia boys picking it up there. Yeah. And uh, uh, BC's uh, Paris team has uh, come back a long way. They have, At one yes. point it was down quite a bit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, almost into a double figures. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then... They uh, were down 6 nothing to start. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so yeah. to 13-10 now. So. Okay. The m uh, men's triples, mm -hmm. uh, with even though with 6 cents left, Mm -hmm. You know, it's not beyond reach. No. You know, beyond reach. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they're playing with nine balls per team. Yep. Uh, scoring a couple of uh, major ends is uh, no, not difficult. No, they need know. to put a few ends together, win some back-to-back -back ends. Right, 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 right. Pick it up here a bit yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they get one, one or two here is good. Yeah, trying to put some so pressure on. a good way to go, yep. yeah. And uh, maybe the camera is not on that game. And mm -hmm. then right now it seems to be BC is lying uh, about... One, two, three, two shots. Yeah, two or three. Kevin with a big goal here. Very good. Oh, a great ball by Kevin. Oh. Oh, just trailed it in between two balls. Yeah, and then it's very close. Everybody get excited. All of them goes in there. Yeah. And then they just all all run in there and take a look. Yeah. Okay. Here's a... Kevin just played a brilliant ball to trail the jack back into a cluster two right. holes there but uh, mm -hmm. very tight yeah and then uh in the triples the first ball played it i think bc is down in the head <laughs> by the looks of it uh i'm not quite sure you know it's kind of a little bit uh, i wish they they change the label on that yeah, it would have been, nice, <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> been nice we have to <laughs> tell the color tough to tell the, the, the color that they're very similar you yeah, know one of them J is off white and one of them is white yeah jamie and i were just uh the guy from gentleman from Kukri there was uh, we were just talking about that you know mm. it's t d a bit difficult you know to tell the difference between yeah the right 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 between the two teams here uh -huh. and their bowls yes yes so yes and uh, one of our spectators is a little bit uh, uh how should i use the word overheat a little bit uh, of yes <laughs> definitely it's your water it's, uh, I, the clouds have just sort of come over us a little bit so it's cooled down a bit so it's yeah, very it's nice for the yeah, players and spectators right right you and know good time is that uh like ground bowling like that carry man's yes yes that's popped in that yeah yeah Fantastic. Is how's uh, how's our our lady doing there? That uh, good, 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 good. It's just a little bit of uh, how should I say a heat stroke, heat shortage of water, whatever yeah, you call them. Dehydration, you know, a a dehydration. Bit. You know, nothing like uh, real serious. No. And then uh, Kerry is one of our premier bowlers in Canada. Yep. He's also uh, Ooh. Uh, what do you call it? A fire. He's a fire chief. Fire chief, whatsoever, and then, you know, good thing he was around the neighborhood. You just call him up, you just bring his team in and just uh, see how things are going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here's Tim again. He's, he's, some, uh, he's been just promoted to picking up all the uh, recycled product. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make sure we stay green. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing yeah. goes in the garbage. Yeah. All right. And so uh, we'll last ball from uh, New Brunswick. They yep. are lying one. They are having one shot from Pat here. Just yeah. uh, and then it's oh, really he got just oh, uh, uh oh. Yeah. yeah. First wrong bias yeah. in the yeah, gold yeah. medal men's triples here at the Canadians. Yeah. Uh, in the by Pat Beggs, I think he owes the boys around after that one. Yeah. Yeah. I hope the new <laughs> the whole New Brunswick Land Bowling Association watch that yep. and write notes. Ooh, they'll be just I waiting thought. for him at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we'll definitely probably see some tweets or posts about that one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> really, really impressive, eh? Canadian champion, you know, one one up and just, ah, uh, no problem, just throw a wrong uh, bias. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm holding shot, 10-3 right. up. And her and man. Make a funny. Yeah, her man is playing like a semi-running shot, like a yard running shot. Know, goes in, oh, off. just slightly miss. Seen, you know. seen the PC boys here seem to be a bit off their A game yes, here at yes, the moment. Yes, and then the you know, but uh, not taking uh, New Brunswick's playing very well oh, to put the pressure course, on. Yeah, don't take uh, don't take any credit away from yeah. them. And then uh, the New Brunswick team is all 
you know, they're, they're a good team. Yep. And then it's been like now for a long time. Mm -hmm. Right. The team from uh, Nova Scotia, just uh, in the rings, yep. uh, talking about rings, just threw the shot, which is, uh, you know, just, how should I use the word? Didn't throw the shot, sneak in for the shot. Sneak in for the shot. And just put Stanley, uh, Stanley's got a ball practical about two, three inches away, just come in there, you know, you live your head eyes, just push it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, just go and sit on it. Yeah, you yep, know, yep. if I'm on that team, I like it, but I'm on a position, I hate it. Yes. It's just how could this never happen to us when we needed it? No, that's right. <laughs> Kevin is playing his uh, last ball, it's coming in, oh, just miss, and then it's really close. Five. Okay. Lee from New Brunswick just put a jack high ball. So Ontario ball. BC have a really tight end here. Jack's clus just clustered in between a group right. of balls. Oh. Cameron with a beautiful ball. Yeah, another great ball. Right. So really playing well here for the uh -huh. crowd. Young right. young Cameron, 19 years of age. Uh -huh. Playing uh -huh. in the gold medal match of the men's fours here. Right. He'll be, uh, you know, about four or five years. He'll be one of the, you would, I think if you continue as well. be yeah, he'll be a star player. The, uh, premium players, yep. one of the Canadian premium players. Absolutely, he's got great delivery, great form, very yeah. good head for the right. game, great yes. level, level-headed yeah. kid. Uh, a very, very, very calm. Very pleasant. Yeah, yeah very pleasant. Yeah, and absolutely. then uh, you're from a bowling family, and mm. oh, we're proud of him. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna, I was going to grab uh, Sherry, who is new to the game, uh, uh -huh. Mel's Mel's girlfriend. Right. See right, if I can right. grab her for a second. Uh -huh. See if I can see her. Sure. Okay. Then uh, on rings number two on the pairs, so all those balls, three balls are clustered together very tight. And then they call the umpire to measure it. Continue, Mel's uh, third ball, the last ball for the triples, the lead. Let's it go. Slightly off. He's, he's uh, twisting, twist his arm a little bit. But uh, just the weight factor. Right. Here comes the opposition number two. Rolling one down. Very good. Weight is very good in a very, very good position. And no, can't quite find her. She's going to see if she can give some words of encouragement to the boys out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two from uh, BC is just doing a draw. And weight pace is very good. Not bad at all. And then uh, probably ended up in first shot. On the close measure there. Uh, Ontario got the shot. Ontario got the shot. Yeah, oh. Ontario got the shot. Yep. So they uh, they lead it by a few more. Mm -hmm. So Malcolm looking to draw another shot here for BC. Yeah. Just well, uh, it's got uh, one lonely ball in there. Yeah. And once again, very good. It's coming on really strong. He's very well played. Just needs to well scoot played. around that jack. Oh, Ooh, still a very good ball there. Slightly. Yeah. Just missed that second shot ball. Slightly heavier. Yeah. Right. But that's still a great spot for them. Mm -hmm. All those uh, New Brunswick balls right in behind the jack there. Right. And, and all those greens, are the, the greens are very crucial on the weight. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. A good play here. He Looks like he's got his own. Ooh, oh, the wedge. It's that, that the red, that burgundy ball behind the jack has been touched. Yes, a couple times. times yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's yeah. not going anywhere. No. It looked like it's got a nail underneath it. It was just nailing it down. Looks like it just stuck there. Right. Malcolm here trying to trying again. put another one in there yeah. for very, very close. the BC team here. He needs to slow down a bit. Give his ball a roll. Oh, Good ball yeah, by Malcolm not bad, Taylor. Not bad, not bad. And something well is uh, close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not bad at all. Opportunity here, maybe? Yes, it's opportunity, a big opportunity for uh, uh, BC. It all depends what uh, skip, skip from, skip, uh, uh, from uh, what Pat does here. Yeah, 
pet dust pet just throw around by us on his last yes. on his last <laughs> hand, and then uh, we just want to see what happens. Looking to make up. Yeah, he. he uh, I think by now he should be checking his buys every time he throw. Yep. <laughs> Somebody tell him that you got four hands left. If it wasn't the last hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, playing the eleventh of fifteen ends here. Yeah. Uh, triples it's only uh, playing 15 ends, so BC oh. needs to do something quickly oh. here in the next few ends uh, in order to come back here. Yeah. Ran, ran over there and get a piece of cloth, polish his bowl. Yeah. James having yeah. a fantastic start there for the yeah. BC boys, drawing two within a foot of the jack down there. Yeah. James uh, has been playing, I uh, was uh, watching him mm -hmm. for the last few games. He's played very well. No! So, uh... Finally, Brunswick. somebody has hit that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, and it happened to be New Brunswick. <laughs> happened to be their own team. Yep. Somebody <laughs> hit the ball, hit yeah. the uh, uh, burgundy ball. Hit the ball. Yeah, it was real funny. You know, he's been pushed around three times. Nothing happened. Yep. Right. And here's James Cavell. So this is on the Paris game. Mm -hmm. First ball, James Cavell. He threw two, three balls really close. His four balls coming. First ball from Herman Santana in the triples. Yeah, just yeah, finishing in behind uh, the jacket. Yeah, not bad. Good nope. position. He just slightly weighted. He Look. wasn't like uh, heavily no. weighted. Just no, slightly just weighted. Just a little heavy for the draw he wanted. About two feet past the jack. Yeah. First ball. Ah, Pat looking I mean here to Pat. make a little adjustment. Uh, just seems to be yeah. a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy. Yeah. And then he's a good chance for uh, mm -hmm. uh, Team BC. This is one of the key balls is our man is going to play. Yeah, looking to draw one more. Not not make yeah. the head too big for Pat there. Just try to get get another one in there. He's a bit heavy again. Ball needs to slow down a touch. Uh, not much heavy yeah. for, for trying to reach the... Uh, same ball. Last ball from. Uh, well, he's got a tighter line on this one. Tighter line. So and then the or less, a little bit less. A nope. Bit no, maybe a bit wider. Yeah. Just going around. Right. Just going around. Tough to tell from this angle. Yeah. Kevin played at uh, in the Paris. Kevin played his first ball. He's lined three shots. Kind of really strong. Oh. Ooh, that, uh, that's a big head out there in the Paris yeah. game. Really see, what <laughs> see what Kinon decides to do here. Uh -huh. Kinon uh, is not. Uh, he's uh, he doesn't have a real blazing firing uh, speed. No, he you doesn't throw with a lot of weight. Lots of weight. He throws kind of the overweight. He's, you know, ditch. He, yeah, ditch, ditch weight. Just over ditch yeah. type of weight. I find it is very hard to play on this type of uh, green. You know what I'm saying? The yep. green is like about 13 and a half seconds. You know. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm saying it's either. You go, you go for it. Yep. Otherwise, yeah. uh, there's no point of. Uh, no. Looks like he's. Uh, uh -huh. Looks like he's winding up. Yep. yep. He's winding up, and yep. then uh, and letting it go. Didn't let go. You know, very good. Ooh, Ooh great ball there by Herman Santana to draw in for three. So big okay. three here for BC. We'll get uh, Pat Bird here on the radio here for all of you guys. Hello, Pat. How hey, are you? Hey, Vince. Good. So, How are you? So good so far? What? Up to now? Yeah. Everything okay? Excellent. Yeah, we saw uh, you played the uh, uh, medal game yesterday. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then uh, it was a very good game. It was very close. I think I think you just had Mr. North on a minute ago. Yes, very close. And then uh, it seems to be... Uh, one of uh, it boiled down to the last in on the last ball. Oh, it was a tremendous finish. The the skips uh, just put on a show in that 18th end. Um, yeah. uh, Wayne made an awesome draw on yeah. a really wide slippery forehand. The greens yeah. were really uh, really flying, and he made an awesome draw. Then uh, then Lyle pounded him out on a yeah. about a th four foot angle raise <laughs> and, and stuck it. Yeah. Uh, within a foot, and then uh, Wayne came down on his last yes, one yes, and yes. trailed it about two feet. Yeah. And uh, so Lyle had to uh, draw the other way uh, to an off-center jack and uh -huh. came up about uh, eight inches right. light. So it was really right. quite a finish. Right. So uh, tell me something, Pat. In those situations, you know what I'm saying, you thought you were going to win the game, you know what I'm saying, next thing you lose the game. How do you feel? 
uh, I, I mean, we've all uh, won close games. We've all lost, lost close games. I think yeah. uh, you just dis expect that the other guy's going to make the shot, and uh, especially mm -hmm. if you've got a bowl to come, expect the other guy's yeah, going to make the yeah. shot, and you're going to have a shot to throw. After the game, how do you feel? Like, like oh, well, tell the truth now. You feel? Uh, I, I bet you'd be sitting there, heads down, I'm and says, "Jesus, <laughs> how could this happen to me?" Well, you, you, you should have <laughs> asked me this about 24 <laughs> hours ago. You might have got a different <laughs> answer. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, uh, <laughs> this year, in one of the ma uh, major b BC uh, competition, yeah, I lost two games by the one last shot. Mm -hmm. The shot they play is not, you know, how should I say it? Uh, not like uh, properly played it. You know, uh, we got three balls and just happen to push one of the balls in. You know what I'm mm -hmm, saying? Mm -hmm. The second game is exactly the same. But sometimes I say to myself, the only thing I say to myself, I don't mean to go anywhere. I don't mean to win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can wake off this way. You can wake off that way. But Jesus, why don't you go wake up right onto the jack? All, <laughs> all you can do is throw your balls to <laughs> the right, best right, of your right. ability, and then what happens, yeah. happens. So. In my younger days, I used to get really upset. Like when I get, I say really upset, really upset. It's just, ah, Jesus, you know, soaring, jumping up and down, this and that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it's the same thing. I lost a U.S. Open yes. Pierce champion in the semifinal. You know, we were lying three shots, and this guy's firing chip the balls. The Jack just had eyes. He doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. He just ricochet one of the balls and go to his three balls in the ditch, nearby the ditch. Right. Yeah, you know, he thought the Jack was burned with green with speed. And then I, I feel really bad for two days. I says, what happened there? <laughs> Well, last year I was at the U.S. Open, and uh, mm -hmm. um, right after, right before, actually, the uh, the Forest Championship, uh, mm -hmm. which I was playing in, uh, the Pairs final was on, and Michelle Rue was playing in that one, mm -hmm. and uh, he played a brilliant, brilliant game, especially the last ten ends. He was just making everything, mm -hmm. and uh, they were playing an Irish team, and uh, the mm -hmm. Irish gentleman uh, basically drew the... Uh, Drew the jacket uh, in the ditch on the last bowl, and, and and the guy yelled out, "That's why we're here." <laughs> 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 and, and you know, Michelle just—I right. mean, he he bowled, he'd done everything he could, and I right, remember right, the look right. on his face, like, "Yeah, he's uh -huh. absolutely right. That's yes. why we're here." Yes, yes. You know, and, and bowled as good as I could. Yeah, it make you. This will make you always come back, and you could have said that thing. I'm playing playing triples. Mm -hmm. Make sure I have nine shots on the last end. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pat, what, how do you like this uh, tournament so far? Oh, it's been amazing. Uh, Tim Mason and this group have done an incredible job, and just look what we've got here, and uh, and the players are putting on a real show. Uh, that that I watched uh, most of that ladies' pairs game with our Alberta uh, mm -hmm. girls in it, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what a what a finish that was. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is one of the uh, I've been to many Canadians championship but this is one one uh, this is one of the very few times uh, we put the bleachers right into the green mm -hmm. what do you think about it with oh. some support well underneath there and then so absolutely that's know, the uh, people are sitting there we have about 250 yeah. uh, volunteers I see you see the person in blue they're all volunteers but uh, uh, you know what I mean it's, it seems to be a very big support you know what I'm saying we can see lots of club members here you know, from both clubs, from the lower mainland, you know, saying lower uh, British Columbia is the second largest uh, lawn bowling community as well for like membership in Canada. Ontario is no doubt the, the number one province. But, uh, you know, like for, I've been to Toronto the last, uh, in uh, 2012, 2011, was it 2011? In Toronto? Yeah, in Toronto. Uh, 2011? Uh, 2011, you know, uh, and then... Uh, you know, like well, they have a, cl they also have a very great crowd. But uh, crowds, you know, what I'm saying, showing up mm -hmm. for the finals. But uh, oh, the volunteers have done an awesome job here. It takes uh, mm -hmm. takes a lot of people, yeah. a lot of preparation to put on something in like about this. What is it? In about three weeks, they're gonna have the uh, Canadian Mixed Pairs Championship in Calgary. That's correct. At, yeah. at my home club, Calgary Lawn Bowls Club, it's yeah. our 90th anniversary. Uh -huh. Are you uh, one of the volunteers, or I'm are you one of the players? I'm, I'm helping out. I'm uh, I'm one of the umpires, and uh, uh -huh. and uh, I know that uh, Malcolm Taylor here, the uh, the uh, uh -huh. vice for BC, is uh, uh -huh. going to be representing British right, Columbia right. with his wife, and uh -huh. uh, and they uh, they took care of us in the round robin. So, <laughs> but I, I I promised him I'll give him uh, I'll I'll just uh, just calls in the.
Yeah, it's coming back on. And we're back on. Yeah, we're back on. And just, I think Steve just edited walked, edited out something. No, <laughs> walked walk by and just uh, took one of the uh, I don't know, oh, well too many wires kicking out there. You know what I'm saying? A great shot by her man. This is playing the 11 end back to the Gims. Mm -hmm. New Brunswick is leading by 11, and uh, they scored three shots the last end. So the score right now is 11 to six. 11 play playing the 12 ends and uh, at the Paris game uh, BC just scored at one the last end so it's come become uh, quite close and the rings game I think is uh, if I'm not mistaken they are only about a one point different between uh, Nova Scotia and BC I, know some, I hope somebody runs over there and tell us what the score <laughs> is it was kind of a, we're sitting on the, um, the, the south side of the green, so it's difficult for us to see, you know, the, the scoreboard is on the south side. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, we have somebody, you know what I'm saying, we'll probably get Steve to tell us what the, uh, the score is. And then uh, second last ball. Ford's big game has been a wonderful game. The, uh, the first end, there must have been uh, oh, eight mm -hmm. bowls within a foot. Uh, be beautifully played. Mm -hmm. And then this is the. Uh, Pat, did you believe in a bad omen or good omen in ball bowling? Uh, I used to be more superstitious than I am now. I, I believe in the in the power of training now. So <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Ball bowling, uh, I said it all along. It's kind of a, like an evil game. You bring it down to uh, many of the top uh, player in the world likes to use the word. The game of mistake, level-wise, you know, players A, players B are the same. It all depends who make more mistake. You know, both teams are the same. Each player's got their own specialty. Some, pl some, t the, you know, the skip can play a very good heavy shot. The skip can light. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. a lots of time, the uh, it meant for you to win. It meant for you to win. Just like this morning, you know, one. Uh, uh, the ladies break, you know, open up the head. Mm -hmm. The balls is only like three feet away, and uh, there's two balls major against one. I never thought the back ball was the shot. Uh, From I where I'm sitting, I was standing on the side, and I yeah. thought it was the side ball for Same Ontario here. as well. Yeah. You know, I was talking to Steve. As a Steve, as his, uh, you know, he's just, I wouldn't bet your wife and kids on that one, <laughs> but it ended up to be good. So, what it is, uh, New Brunswick score on this end. They are going to score because they're lying two shots here, right? He's going to play a backhand. So it all depends how far he's going to go. Okay, so two for uh, uh, New Brunswick. And then 12 in played. Yeah, so it's a seven point deficit so for yeah, BC to make uh, up in right three ends to go. Ends so, to go. what I said that is, uh, the, the, the skip from uh, New Brunswick play uh, wrong bias on the previous end. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what I say is uh, like in Omen, whether uh, good or bad. You, you know what I'm saying? It was like a no danger shot, whatever. He can play the forehand, he just, you know, throw it within two feet. You get an additional shots. You know, sometimes uh, momentum in long bowling is very important. Absolutely. You, know, you make one small mistake, next thing you'd be struggling mm -hmm. all day. It's um, the game's a lot like golf. Uh, uh -huh. It's you know some over the course of uh, a three three and a half hour match or four right, and a half hour right, golf right. game, some right. some bad things will happen to you, and uh, uh -huh. a lot of the game is how you react to those things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, the BC team's momentum since the last and the momentum kind of uh, switch to BC, and then uh, they're playing great balls, like, like uh, excellent balls. Mm -hmm. Steve, uh, who is leading? 14-12 uh, Nova Scotia. And then uh, how many ends? And oh, 14-11 Ontario in the Paris. And it seems to be they're getting closer and closer towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. They're playing in about uh, 12 in play, somewhere around there. 
and then in the triples, and then New Brunswick's 13, BC 6, Bob and Play. We're going to have uh, uh, two more ends, one of the key ends. BC's got to score, score on this end. If we don't score, if New Brunswick score, it'll be, you know, slightly different, mm -hmm. quite a bit different. Yeah, in the Paris game, it looked like uh, Ontario had a lot of control, and then yeah, Kinnon uh, cracked that five ender, and yeah, uh, you and could and just and see the body language change. Yeah, the momentum change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's one of the key things. When the momentum change, it changes tremendously. It doesn't, as I say before, it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> you always just go, <laughs> go the opposition where you can hit the jack here, you can hit the jack there, and then BC score again. So you br bring it down to about. Uh, uh, different of only once, right? Mm -hmm. And the only thing is, like uh, in uh, Nova Scotia's uh, team, we like to use the word, what would you use? What would you use, like Nova Scotia? What would you do? What are you going to do? What are you going to tell your teams? If you're in uh, Steve Austin's team. Right now? Yeah. Oh, well, they just got to keep pushing. How many ends do they have left over there? I think uh, five ends left. Yeah. Yeah. What, what would you do? Gamble on a few ends or keep oh. calm or what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> How many down are they right now over there? They are they're only one point different. Oh, wow. You know, but uh, just keep three ends ago. Keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you've... you've yeah, uh, just four ends ago, they are five points different. Yeah. You know, in uh, two ends, you scored a four. Uh, they scored a four. Right. Well, they've had a few ends to feel out the green. They've right now, they've got the mat up about uh, halfway, throwing the jack uh -huh. to, uh, what, probably about uh -huh. 10 feet from the ditch. Right. Uh, I mean, they've been using the last uh, couple hours to feel out what uh, what length and, and hand looks uh -huh. like it's going to work uh -huh. for them in their front end. I know they've uh, their lineup, uh, they switched it around. I know the start of the week they had, uh, I believe Steve Bizantzen was playing third. Now he's... Uh -huh. He's moved to uh, uh, lead, he and, and Cam's yeah. playing third, I see. And, uh, and Cam's thrown a few drives here in the last uh, half right, hour to right. open things up. Right. Uh, Malcolm played a very good bowl, back to the triples game. Mm -hmm. Played really good bowls, and then uh, it's kind of holding two in a major. And then the opposition skip, New Brunswick, telling his third to play like a, uh, like a ditch way trying to play through the head or no he's asking for uh, a six foot to ten foot weight right through so he's playing through target is kind of quite big and then something's going to happen on this one yeah. yes good shot. well done and then chip one of the balls out and then bring out to the count two from two to one BC's certainly got a lot of bulls uh, right in the immediate vicinity of the mm -hmm. jack, but uh, not too much position in behind. So right. if they're going to, uh, you know, they're, they're only down seven with uh, Pat, would you three say to go here. They don't have to get desperate. Yeah. But Pat, would you say it's kind of hard to see? One of them is a beige, and the other one is a white. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking. The, the, deco good thing, the, the good thing I know the BC bulls. The Otherwise, they'd be in real trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the deco colors are very similar. But similar, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the There'll be a big difference under the bright sun, eh? But yeah. Oh, not bad again. Malcolm did the same bowl as he played it last. Yeah. DC's got the black bowls and the red bowls. So. Yes, and then uh, one of those uh, good bowl, bad bowl situation, mm -hmm. right? At this level, the bowls like that is, uh, I would rate it uh, 1 to 10. It's probably only a 2, even though it's temporary holding shots yeah. because New Brunswick has got one two uh, one blue ball and one uh, burgundy ball all two balls uh, in kind of a receiving position mm -hmm. and then the head is kind of uh, you know allowed you to play a shot right through and it doesn't matter if the jack goes on the right hand side you got shot the jack on the left hand side to get shot shot and the skip on New Brunswick you know what I'm saying it's just it's not a very difficult shot him for him to play. Yeah, you figure BC's probably got to uh, score yeah. these last three ends if yes, they're going to win. Yes, and exactly what I say. We just push. And there it is. And then next thing, BC is two down. Your, you your psychic vents there, the players are making you look good. No. <laughs> but 
And lots of times, you know what I'm saying, the, the shot position is more important than triples. Mm -hmm. You know, the execution, the time of execution is very important. You, you know what I'm saying, Pat? You, you play international matches. You look some of these world-class players. A shot like that to him is just like, uh, you know, we, we use the term, you know, take candies away from baby. You know what I'm saying? The baby doesn't even know what happened. The candy is gone. Ducks in a barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So next thing, the pressure is on her man. Her man's he's coming. playing running shots, yeah. which is very, very difficult. Yeah. You know, he needs to score. He's down seven shots. Right now, he's down nine shots with two ends to go. It's, uh, it's possibility. But oh, for uh, sure. You know, the other team is coming in like a gangbuster. You know what I'm saying? They know they can smell the, you know, the metal, the gold metal. You know, one they can smell the gold medal, they bite down, the momentum forces yeah. coming in, and everything, and the whole thing is uh, is different, you know. Yeah. Pat, you, sometimes when you play balls, you know you're going to win. You know what I'm saying? When you know you're going to win, you have confidence. Yeah. When you have confidence, you can draw shots that, it's you know, never, s n you can draw shots that is like, uh, Jesus, how the hell is the guy making all those shots? It's confidence coming into a big play. And sometimes when you lose your momentum, geez, you watch your ball go through, sure, you hit the jack, but you didn't hit the jack. You slice the jack to the other person in a really weird position. Eh? Yeah, her man is still three down, maybe possibility of four. Yeah. Right? It's all yeah. one bad shot. And one ball to come? Uh, two balls to one, come. One, one, yeah, one for each. Herman. Yeah. yeah. One for her yeah. man and one for... Uh, no, he's going to have a big decision to make here. Right. It's a very difficult one for uh, Pat. In this game, Jeff has been playing very well. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Jeff. And he, uh, many, many ends that, uh, how should I use it? He's, even though he misses balls, he's in a top, top position. So he let uh, Pat play uh, many different type of shots, you know, variety of shots and... Uh, as I say, I emphasize once again, Pat is a, is a player. That's He's been around yeah. for a long, long time. Yeah, no, we <laughs> played them in the round robin, and uh, and they were very sharp. Pat, Pat in particular, um, drew the lights out against us uh -huh. on uh, Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. What it is, they're from a smaller uh, community of bowls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they can play. It's not that they cannot play, you know. This uh, man's last ball. Right? He's trying to play it a little mm -hmm. bit stronger. He's coming at it. In. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, yep, right. just uh, just before he just he released the ball, the last two fingers hits the ball. The ball would not bend; it would just go right straight. Right. So uh, it's uh, three New Brunswick. Three it looks Brunswick. like it's going to be a ten shot differential. With two to go. Okay. And with two ends to go, a very very important, very very key end. If her men don't score this end, basically the medal is away. They'd be looking at uh, a silver medal, and uh, Pat and Jeff will win a gold medal. Yeah. It's like Chris Graham made a pretty big shot over there in the Forest game. Yes. Uh, Chris is a very good player. He's been around for a long, long time. You know what I'm saying? He can play very well, and uh, I bowl with Chris all the time. You, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's very calm. You know, he doesn't get panicked or excited. You know. And then uh, it's the same thing. This could be the last end. It could be a, another end. In order for, uh, like, you, you're looking at a 10 shot differential. You have to score five or more yeah. on this end. To or, make it or a four yeah. and then a six. You yeah, know, probably four, four is. Uh, yeah, to be. Uh, uh, you need at least four yeah. or else it's, to, uh, it's probably lights out. Uh, to have a realistic chance to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come back or bounce back, whatsoever. Good. You see the uh, the lead. Pat oh. and Vince, can you guys hear me? Yeah. I oh, perfect. Hear. What's happened? Yeah. Oh, the uh, people are trying to make some uh, equipment adjustment here. Oh, nice.
McKenna just play a, a shot with a, with, a, with, a, with a shot. It's kind of a, like a, not quite Hail Mary, but the degree amount of luck is very high. He chip off the front ball, wake the side ball, and come in for shots. Pass. Here's Mel Apple again. He's trying to get his balls run up together and put in a good position. Uh, third ball, still playing the forehand. He's pretty well got that area pattern, you know, and like his forehand, you know, see, all his greens are good, the weights is good, the weight is excellent. Skip us for a back ball, the ball went through a little bit. Very good. See, with balls, with position like that, like that, you know, you're not going to lose a, a big end because the wing balls are so far away, you know, there's no way the other person can can uh, touch the wing balls. Yeah. Well, BC's got a couple of receivers there on the forehand, uh -huh. so um, if they can drag it over there yeah. eventually. And then uh, our friend, Jeff. He'll try and cover that. Yeah, he's going to play. See, what, what good, you know, Pat, good thing about Jeff as a player, his shot is always up. Very seldom you see him uh, throw some uh, short balls and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, geez, as soon as we finish saying, guess what happened? Jeez, <laughs> short ball shows up. Yeah. Came on with a big shot in the Paris game yeah, over there. Very good, very good. I think uh, uh, BC has scored two. Oh, nice try. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, see how's my hands light stall doing over there. And then I'll give you uh, Steve. Pat, how are you doing? Yeah, pretty good, how are you? Not too bad. Good, good seeing you again. Yeah. You guys have done an amazing job here uh, in Vancouver for this event. Yeah, thanks. It's been a fantastic event and a lot of work by the team, so it's been uh, been great. Yeah. Yep, so hopefully everyone out there is enjoying uh, this uh, 2013 Canadian Championships and uh, watching the live feed here. Yeah, it looks like uh, New Brunswick is taking a commanding lead over BC here in the final game. Have you played against the uh, New Brunswick boys much? Uh, yeah. Quite a bit, actually. Um, mm -hmm. We've uh, run into them at like triples, of course, as a new event for the Canadian Championships this year. But uh, yep. they're often on the New Brunswick Fours teams, and I've I've played for Alberta and Fours a number of times. So mm -hmm. yeah, we've certainly played them in that, and uh, I think I played them in the U.S. Open at least once, if not twice, as well there. So. Uh. So good, strong but team, and uh, but they're well, they're playing. Yeah. They're playing very well. Pat, Pat's been drawing well all week, and and uh, Jeff has uh, really come to play today. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got a couple of good battles there on uh, rink two and three between the pairs and the fours at the moment. So once uh, this game's uh, completed, we'll switch over to there as best we can. Yeah. I hadn't met Eldon before this week, mm -hmm. uh, the New Brunswick lead, but he's also played well, and you can mm -hmm. see that they're working, the communication's very good um, amongst the front end, they're yeah. communicating, working together really well. Yeah, him and Jeff have been talking quite a bit, you know, just keeping each other in the game and exactly. uh, focused. Mel and Malcolm have been a bit uh, separated at the moment, <laughs> being down 16-6, to six, so hopefully we'll see some smiles break in there soon for them, because mm. uh, keep their heads up anyways, they made it this far. So it's like staying away from the head there. I'm not too sure who's who's shot down there. Uh, I don't know, but if uh, if BC is going to get a big end, I think they're going to either have to uh, yeah. rest out that uh, that wine colored ball just uh, in behind the head, or or trail the jack a little bit uh, yeah. over to the left. Mm. Is their chance? Yeah, they need to score. Uh, I guess maybe a a four or a five ender here to give themselves a chance. My dad playing some weight here. Yeah. 
Going for the Is jack. Go? Look at that. Ooh. To open it up for the maybe the burn, mm -hmm. potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they don't score a couple here, they're gonna have to shake hands. Game ten down with uh two ends to play. Oh that's a no oh, great a well placed ball. Yeah, great ball there by Pat. So I I think we'll be seeing a running shot here going for the burn. Back at it a bit. Uh, needs to get lucky oh. here. Oh. <laughs> well set in two. <laughs> Happened to get an edge of that jack. So, uh, yeah. A little fortunate there. Played up and got the wick off a side bowl there. Maybe Pat's looking just to get one in there close and, uh, Force the drive again. Wonder if there's an opportunity for any type of count back there for them. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're having a good look at it. That that one uh, colored bowl there on the right. Mm-hmm. Nova Scotia bowl there. Malcolm call for the burn. <laughs> Looks like they're playing the trail. Mm -hmm. Well, my dad's not too happy with, uh, but uh, he's very close. Back on he's very yeah, close. Oh, he moved great it. Bowl. He moved it. Great bowl. See what happened that there. Jack stayed in. That could be four. Four. Wow. Well, there we go. What a bowl. Big end here for uh, the BC boys. That it, that's it for the Bulls. It and looks like they're it. just counting them up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Getting confused at what's going on down there. He s my dad threw that pretty quick. I <laughs> he got after he got off after he got told to stop. There's a yeah. He was about. Uh, he was actually in his throwing motion, and, uh, yeah. and Malcolm uh, uh, made a call down the green, and it was good discipline for him to back off yeah. and hold up, and, yep. and then and then make the shot. Yep. I mean, but he's uh, he's that kind of character. Yep. I mean, yeah, he's very focused. And he knows what he wants to do. Yeah. So see what he uh, see what the umpires do here with that long measure. tape. <laughs> now the umpires have been great all week. We had a measure that. Uh, we looked at it for about a minute, and oh, I couldn't tell what it was. So mm. we called in the umpires, and uh, uh, they they eventually called it a tie after uh, a good, lengthy examination that involved a uh, string tape and uh, the other umpire crouching over with a magnifying glass. Oh. So, <laughs> so uh, you don't see that that no, often. No, no, I hadn't yeah. seen that before. Yep. But uh, oh, great ball, Mike! You know, ooh, yeah, no, you don't see that. Ties too often. No. So it looks like uh, another BC shot, so. Oh, great right. ball there by Kevin. Kevin drew it. <laughs> drew the shot cold, crowd getting a bit boisterous out there, which is fantastic yeah. to see, really into it now. Last few ends here for everybody. It, it sure is, and I think you've seen the players respond to yeah. that energy that's. Uh, do, people, uh, do people know what what's going on here. in the other games a bit? Um, not, not in the last five minutes, we should update that. Yeah. Do a walk about here and uh, update uh, the score right now. Ontario is up 15-13 in the pairs. Uh, the fours. Ooh, BC is up now 15-14 in the fours on the f after the 15th end. So big comeback there by the BC men's fours there to take the lead. So good tight games all around here. And our BC boy, he's here in our feature game in the triple, needing a big six ender. Yep. Uh, BC, BC 15. 
Ontario uh, 14. Oh, great bull by Kano Lau to take out Kevin's bull. Uh, the pairs. Oh, what were the pairs? Yeah, we'll try to keep track of it for you guys then by end. 15-13 uh, Ontario. The fours are playing the 16th end. The pairs are playing the... Pairs are playing the 15th end. <laughs> Kevin, just draw the shot. Wow, what a bull. He rested the bull out. Rested the bull out for a shot. Not sure how many got there. One? I think it was just for the one. So 16, 13, I think, for Ontario after 15 ends. The fours on their 16th end uh, with BC 15, 14. Yeah, it's tough to see. Yeah, we're just off to the side behind the scoreboard, so uh, back to our future game here. BC needing six to tie, so uh, big task ahead of our boys here from BC. Needing six points to uh, tie it up to force an extra end, so we'll see what uh, kind of head they play. If uh, Usually if it doesn't get set up, by the time the seconds jump in, we'll start to see some hitting action to try to burn that end. Yeah. Mel setting up the head. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Looks like BC's holding uh, three after the leads have thrown. Uh, lots of bulls to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hellman kind of falling away on this lap in a little bit, but uh, many bulls to come. Oh, a great bull here by Malcolm. That's another good one. Yeah. Great bull there by Malcolm. So, uh, some fantastic bulls being played here. Uh, by the men's fours and men's pairs here. Very close games. Uh, Jeff had pretty good weight there, but he just, uh, just ran into the one short bowl. Yeah. We'll see what uh, BC with a, a sliver of hope right now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> they're sitting four right now in the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, sometimes, you know, you're up, up 10 with uh, two to go and you figure it's kind of over and then that trail comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden it's six. That's right, yeah. Oh, great bulls there by Malcolm Taylor. Mm -hmm. Great bulls. wonder if we'll see some uh, heat from uh, New Brunswick, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, <laughs> to get him out of this. Pat's, Pat, Pat's uh, Jeff Pat having just come out. I think he's having Jeff come at it on, yeah. the, uh, on the forehand, yeah. Big shot here. BC with uh, four bulls, relatively close in the head. Oh, no, it's uh, Mel Eccles is just walking down the side of the green there, not supposed to be doing that. The boys just taking a break here, having a breather. <laughs> yeah. That's just have a seat and relax. It's all right. So uh, one player was walking up the side of the green, and the rules stipulate that you're not allowed to uh, walk up the side of the green. Is that correct? 
yeah, even right. if you're off the rink, yeah, it's not yeah. Uh, not etiquette. It's part of the rules of the game. Yes, that's a quiet way to chat. Mm. Oh, he looks very that's well pretty played. Close. Oh, a great ball uh, there. That's a big one there. Great ball. So uh, Manitoba now sitting third shot. BC holding two at the moment. Malcolm coming to have a look at the head. Real good control by Jeff on a, mm. on a very important shot. Yeah, absolutely. Game no, there. didn't get too excited and throw uh, any big weight or anything like that at it. You know, nice controlled bowl. His bowl ended up in a good position and makes it a little tougher for BC now to get a, a big count. Mm -hmm. What do, do you have a, let's say you're six down in the game and you were skipping, what kind of strategy would you try to try to play? Well, send someone for a beer and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that strategy. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you don't want to be short with any of your bowls. Um, uh, if you can get a, you know, get a few around the jack, another team only has one in the head, you can kind of keep drawing and then uh, look to rest their bowl out uh, a little later in the end. Or if uh, they've got a few in the head, then you're probably looking for a cluster somewhere behind and move the jack to it later. And yep. if it doesn't size up, uh, then you, you've always got the uh, kill and, and try again. Yeah. Um, I think one of the questions is what do you do with the mat? Sometimes in that situation, uh, do you want the mat near the ditch so that uh, uh, I mean, that's going to make it harder to kill if it's not developing for you. Yep. So but uh, but then again, sometimes some strange things happen around the ditch. You see some big ends develop around the uh, ditch. Absolutely, so, you yeah. do. Yeah, yep. you know, you get a you know the your opponent throws a couple in the ditch, and you end up with a big counter. Exactly. It goes the other way around at times. You know, you pop a couple of short or anything like that. So, yeah, lots of different strategies. Hmm. I don't know. Mace, can you have a peek at the scoreboard? See what the. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Tim, but to have a peek at the men's fours here. Big N just played uh, with BC scoring a seven in the 16th end. So that makes it 22 22 14 after 16 ends for BC and the men's fours. What a big comeback by the boys there. You know. Amazing. So it can happen, as we can see there, you know, <laughs> seven under. But uh, my, but Team BC here needing to burn it as a, uh, ooh. As the uh, New Brunswick boys have really made it difficult here for uh, BC to get any type of count. Yeah, they've really played well. Yeah. So for all of you from New Brunswick, give a big shout out to your 2013 men's triples team. Uh, last bowl here for BC, looking it's for the burn. Oh, oh, just missed it by a couple Took the bowl out clean. And that's it. Good game, guys. Good game. New Brunswick, your 2013 men's triples champions. Canadian <laughs> champions. <laughs> Jeff tosses his hat in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good game, guys. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah, they played fantastic all week. Only one loss. Yeah. And a uh, good, good, gr good, re good uh, rematch here against our BC boys, as BC t giving them the only loss in the round robin. So uh, now we're going to head over to our BC men's pairs shortly, in about uh, two seconds here, once the cameras get uh, started. So uh, we'll catch a glimpse of the last few ends of that game and maybe a bit of the men's fours here. Okay. I think Tim's going to come back in for me here for the uh, wrap-up of the pairs. But, Stevie, thanks for uh, having me. Yeah, thanks, Pat. Uh, and, and thanks to you guys for, for an awesome tournament. Awesome. Uh, the players have, uh, have had a great time and uh, can't wait to do this again. Yeah, glad you guys right. enjoyed it. And okay. uh, may they may continue on <laughs> at all <laughs> the provinces. <good>. Yeah. <laughs>